Another return for my 1991 Don Russ set, coming up. Hello again, everybody. My name is Troy Rudder, and I literally wrote the book on autograph collecting, and I'm so glad you're here. I have an update on my 1991 Don Russ set, as well as a hockey return today, and some of those great 1982 Fleers have been coming in. So let's get straight to the autographs, because I know that's why you're here. So here's the first one. Boom. All right, the update for the 1991 Don Russ set is none other than Gerald Alexander. He signed one of one in 357 days. This is number 305 for the 1991 Don Russ set. He actually signed this via his home in LA. I think that's Louisiana. <laughs> the address is on Star Tiger because it's not actually a public address that I could find. And all I really know about Mr. Alexander is that he played for the Rangers from 1990 to 1992. That is all I know about him. So. Thank you, Mr. Alexander. Again, number 305 for the set on the 1991 Don Russ set. Next, we have a one of one success from Tim Waters. He signed in 472 days via his home in Arizona. The address is also on Star Tiger. Now, he played for the Jets and the LA Kings from 1981 to 1985. He was then a coach for the Bruins in 1996 and then also for the uh, NCAA team, the Michigan Tech Huskies, Mr. Tim Waters on this scorecard, hockey scorecard. Next, we have a 1982 Fleer return from Bruce Benedict. He signed 1-1 in 29 days via his home in Georgia. You can see the address right there. Now, he played for the Braves from 1978 to 1989 and was a two-times All-Star in 1981 and 1983. After playing, he had several positions in the Mets organization and then was also a scout for the Cardinals. And his son Griffin Benedict played for the Padres for two seasons, keeping it in the family there. <laughs> Mr. Bruce Benedict. Next we have Bill Campbell. He signed 1-1 in 30 days via his home in Illinois. You can see the address right there. Now, Bill played from 1973 to 1987 for the Twins, the Red Sox, the Cubs, the Phillies, and the Cardinals, as well as the Tigers and the Expos. He was on the American League All-Star Team in 1977 and was actually the AL Saves leader in that same year, as well as being a two times, two times American League Rolaids relief man. <laughs> How do you spell relief? He has a win-loss record of 83 and 68 with a 3.54 ERA and 864 strikeouts. Mr. Bill Campbell. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Hopefully you have been getting some nice returns in this spring slash summer. The mailbox has been kind of going crazy lately. I'm really happy to be able to share these new autographs with you thanks to the 1982 set that I've been sending out. I really, it's really fun seeing these cards come back that I, I, of all the card sets from my youth, my early, early, early youth, <laughs> the 1982 Fleer, uh, it's so fun seeing those come back. So I want to thank all the players for that. And I want to thank you for tuning in because you have, I don't know how many billions of videos on YouTube to watch and you are watching this video right now. And that is pretty awesome. You know, the TTM community is very good at watching each other's videos and commenting and not just saying great video, but actually watching the videos. And that's one of the reasons why I love the TTM community. So thank you. And as I am always fond of saying, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.